People who have worked the drive through what's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone's car? My gym teacher, drunk. He started eating the tacos at the drive through window. He was there for over 5 minutes, just eating. I saw him the next day in school. We both acted like nothing happened. Some real coach McGurk energy here. Only worked drive through for a year but the weirdest thing I saw was an alpaca in a minivan. They asked at the window if they could order some apple slices for the alpaca. I just gave them two packs on the house. I worked with a gal who had llamas and she would transport them by minivan too. Haha. <laughs> Not seen, but I heard a BJ taking place over the headset. It was a location open 24 stroke 7 so we had to reset the tills for 10 minutes every evening at 11pm so people would just sit in their car and wait. Most people don't realize that we could hear everything. The speakers don't turn off while the vehicle is there. Someone pulled a gun on my brother because the salsa containers weren't completely full. You can get as many as you want for no extra charge. Dang that person must really love salsa I guess. Had a customer come through with a giant grandfather clock in the back seat. The thing was so huge it was sticking out the side window, which just so happened to be on the left side of the car. Which meant dude couldn't get close enough to the window to reach his food and had to step out, cursing the whole time. This is a recent headline from Arizona, where I live. Man, 70, was arrested with the body of his dead wife in his car after a stunned worker at a Carl's Jr. drive through in Arizona spotted him wearing only his underpants with the naked corpse upside down in the passenger seat. I worked at a Tim Hortons and once saw an old lady with like 50 cartons of eggs in her car. I made a joke saying looks like you could make your own breakfast and she got real straight faced and said oh honey those aren't eggs. Still have zero clue what else you would store in egg cartons. The fact she said oh honey before those aren't eggs makes me feel like there's something terrible. Two guys were hotboxing and decided to come to the drive through They did not stop smoking even when they pulled up to the window. I swear a cloud of smoke rolled out the window when they lowered it to pay. They offered me a hit and I politely declined. That happens fairly often. Sometimes I can smell it from the dang kitchen. I was working the drive through at Burger King in a snowstorm. Driver orders a coke with no ice. When I hand them the coke, they empty it a bit, break off a couple icicles hanging from the car, put in the coke, and drive off without saying a word. ETA. Holy crap. What a way to wake up. Thank you. Power move. Dude had a full on sex doll dressed up in his passenger seat. Sunglasses. Dress and even a hat. I couldn't even tell it was fake until I asked for their order. Coworker and I looked at each other simultaneously and we both said was that a sex doll this is in a wealthy area of my city as well so it was definitely a first. Guy pulls up. I look in the back seat and there's a dude with all four fingers wedged up this lady's vagina. She was not wearing anything below the waist. I had to double look just to make sure I wasn't crazy and that is when the dude turned his head and gave me a dead stare into my eyes. Like he was trying to intimidate me. Very awkward and I did not know how to act. Wedged got me. Had a guy consistently come through the drive through with his penis out and showing the young girls running the windows. He would always order the same thing. Large mellow yellow no ice. Always on a Sunday. And always wearing military fatigues. Then he stopped showing up for a bit. We called him Private Peters. As our little sign to call the cops if he showed up again. A month later we get an order for a large mellow yellow no ice. So I decide to take over the window because had a 16 year old running cash and sure enough he hands me his money with his dong in his other hand. We convinced the car in front of him to stay in the lane and we called the cops. He got suspicious and left but they caught him and was charged. So glad they caught that creep and so sorry for any of you that had to deal with that. The entire car was filled with trash. Like legitimately up to ceiling in the back seat and up to shoulder height in the passenger seat. I was so stunned I nearly forgot to give them their food. Worked in IT with a guy whose car was like that. Had seen the car in the parking lot many times but was like a year before I saw him get in it. He was nuts, but didn't realize he was that kind of nuts. And he sat one cube away. A woman drinking a tall boy of Budweiser. It was 530 in the morning at a Starbucks. There's also a guy that takes his three dogs for rides. 
they ride in buckle seats and wear goggles so the wind doesn't hurt their eyes. I used to see someone come through with a lifelike mannequin in their passenger seat. I asked about it and turns out they did it to use the commuter lanes on the highway. You must have more than one person in the car or cop a fine. Either the guy sitting with a dog in his passenger seat and a coyote and a deer chilling in the back, or the woman wearing just a bra, but that one is more traumatizing. There was this woman that would come through and get a hot chocolate every day. Her name was Mary. Mary was an older gal in her 70s, drove an early 90s Lincoln, usually had some old tunes playing, and weighed 60 pounds, if that. She was always so happy and so nice. I always gave her drinks for free because it was always such a treat to see her and she was just so nice. One other feature I remember is she always rocked suspenders and a random colored fedora every day. I think she reminded me of Maze. Frizzle after she retires. One day, she comes through and orders her usual. I said, Mary, why are you always in such a good mood? What's your secret? She smiles and waves me closer. I lean out of the drive through window and she says, Really, really good drugs. She winks at me, turns her radio up, and cruises out of the parking lot. Mary is my hero. Mary's officially my new friend. One time I was with my mom when she went through a drive through The car stalled at the window and wouldn't start. I looked at her and said, So, wait for the food and then push she said yes. They came to the window with our order. We got everything situated. Then I hopped out and started pushing the car. It was a big boat of an Oldsmobile so I had to push it in a way that made it look like I was sitting on the back bumper. The looks on the faces of the people in the window as I passed by were pretty dang funny. We ended up going inside the restaurant to wait for someone to pick us up. Someone who was working the drive through told us we could wait there as long as we needed to and they'd be happy to get us cups for the soda fountain. They checked on us more than once and we were only there for maybe half an hour. I grew up in a family that often didn't have a vehicle. And when we did have one, it usually left us stranded on a regular basis. This was just a frustrating inconvenience and the folks working in the restaurant were so nice and felt so bad for us. We were just happy to have a ride on the way and a building to wait in. My little sister used to work at a local Wendy's. A woman came through the drive through one day with either a pet or a service animal. That animal happened to be a monkey. My random animal was a goat. Had a drunk guy come through drive through A cop car was in line right behind him. Told the cops about the drunk guy. He was blitzed and was going to kill someone. Cops said they knew as they were planning on pulling him over before he turned in and went to the drive through They decided they were hungry and decided to get food too before pulling him over. They stayed at the back window and had us give them their food first so they could follow him out. Pulled him over in the parking lot. Was kind of entertaining. Dale. If I die tonight, I better have a full stomach. There was this really cute blonde girl that would always come through the drive through naked on Saturday nights. Every now and then she would have another friend with her. We always knew when it was her by the constant giggles coming from her car as she ordered. We always had weird customers. Being it was the world's largest McDonald's located in Orlando, Florida. An order for 88 Big Macs or 120 cheeseburgers was not out of the ordinary though. There is one guy who drives a hearse. It was a car that ran well and he could afford it. So when a teenager pulls up to the window in his hearse you get a little shocked. I also saw someone with a chicken. Complete with a harness and leash. It was cute. I once worked the drive through window at a bank where a mortuary had their business account. So seeing a hearse in the drive through was normal. But then one day one of the undertakers came through to cash a check or make a deposit or something. And there was very clearly a body in sheet or bag in the back. This dude pulled up and his girlfriend or whatever was almost entirely naked on the seat next to him. Sleeping. When he pulled up, he saw my shocked expression. Pulled her thin jacket. The only thing on her body besides the seat belt. To cover her nipple and asked for some ketchup. He was shockingly casual. That was probably not his girlfriend. This girl used to come through with like three dogs. I finally asked her, do you have to feed these beasts and she explained that she just walks and grooms them. Well, one day she came through the drive through with like 15 dogs and she screamed through the intercom my business finally took off and got a bunch of chicken tacos for them. Come to think of it, I think she may have been trying to flirt with me. Dang. 
I'm just laughing thinking about how happy she must have sounded through the chaos of a car full of that many dogs screaming my business finally took off. Not sure if it counts as something weird, but I found out after marrying my wife that she would go to a certain chick fil a location drive through almost every day before work. Turned out during the time she was going there I was working there and I ran the drive through 5-6 days a week and strictly in the mornings. So for about a year I saw my wife almost every day before I even met her, and didn't realize it till after being with her for years. Story time. I was working the drive through at Carl's Jr. One evening as a very innocent 17 year old. It was pretty close to closing time. Sometime after 10 p.m. A car pulled up and some slightly slurred speech said something I didn't fully understand, but I heard the word food and since it was a drive through it seemed like a safe assumption that they wanted to order food. It's not typical to ask if they can order food first, but I replied sure, go ahead when you're ready. They proceeded to order 4 people's worth of food and I gave them their total. What happened next was not something I was remotely prepared for. Four slightly overweight to very overweight middle aged women pulled up in their car, all completely topless. A sheepishly avoided looking I repeated their total and one of them loudly reiterated what I hadn't fully heard initially. We said we wanna trade some tea for some food. Hold on a minute, I replied. I then walked back to where my manager was currently preparing their food. He asked if there was a problem and I said kind of, they need to talk to you. I'll wash up and take over for you here. I'm pretty sure he picked up on my distress and didn't argue or ask any more questions. By the time I finished washing my hands he came back with a slightly annoyed look and told me I should just finish making their order and he would pass it out to them. I'm not sure if they paid or not, but I'm guessing my manager just wrote off the order so they would leave and no longer be our problem. We then had a decent laugh about it, but I was pretty horror stricken at the time. Nah dude, sounds like your manager traded some food for tea. Oh 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 finally I have something. I worked at a McDonald's in a small town in Michigan. Think two stoplights. And when the car pulled up to the front window, they had a whole baby kangaroo in their lap. I don't know where they got that from or why, but the closest zoo was two hours away. I mean, I'm glad it was a whole baby kangaroo. I was working a McDonald's drive through in a small town in Michigan. This truck goes through, pays and pulls forward to get its meal. Then a chicken jumps out of the back. I yell for the next car in line to stop, but she looks confused and ends up running over the chicken. It's not dead but it's a wreck. She looks at me and we're both in tears. She says she has to and I say no. She puts it on reverse and backs over the chicken again. Another employee's had to get a shovel and scoop up the dead chicken from the drive through I can't help but picture a car full of kids being the next one in line. Their shocked faces as they watch a chicken get scraped off the pavement before receiving their six piece nugget meal. Brutal. I worked at Domino's and one lady used a hand crocheted blanket to keep her pizzas warm. Kept the blanket in the front seat and draped it over the boxes. I crochet, so I know how much work went into that blanket. These two ladies with tons of tattoos and cigarettes came through, got their two McChickens, and as they were pulling away I saw there were balloons just crammed into the entire back half of the car, just filled to the brim with balloons. Another time I was helping these two teen boys when I heard a quack from the back seat. That's the duck. One of them told me, followed by a honk from the back, and that's the goose. It's worth noting that they had just left a football game and come straight to the drive through so lord only knows where the duck and goose were before that. It was either the 12 year old driving or the lady in a right hand drive car. The fact she had the audacity to get mad at me because I couldn't reach her money. So we have two really crazy drive through stories my family owns a franchise of a fast food chain. My brother is taking the drive through order. Lots of muffled talking as though it's a group of people trying to decide what to order, along with some shushing. Not unusual. Car pulls around to the window from the speaker. The trunk pops open and a guy jumps out and begins running like heck away. Four guys in the car jump out after him, tackle him in the street, throw him back in the trunk and speed off. The other one wasn't so much what was in the car, but I was working drive through while a very large local parade that goes down the street in front of the restaurant was happening. Towards the end of the parade, a nice convertible comes crashing through the parking lot, taking out signs and the drive through menu board. 
Turns out they had stolen the donated car from the parade route, and took it for a joyride through the parking lot. I hope you reported that first one to the cops, or at least to someone who would. I worked a drive through at Arby's and a D agent came through in his squad car, when he pulled up to the window and I handed him his food and he thanked me, turned around into the criminal holding area and screamed shut up before I break your nose, I was clearly mortified. Then he turned back to me and said just kidding there's nobody back there, laughed, and drove off. You met Tank Schrader. A 50 year old man with Down syndrome playing with his willy in the passenger seat while his aide picked up his meds. He made eye contact with me the entire time. Unfortunately there's no climax to this story no pun intended. Closed the window and didn't say a word. There's a time and place for everything, but gotta do what you're gotta do I guess. No pun intended. I call bulls. Not really weird but, there was a very very large woman, no judgment, who would come through covered in sweat, I assume because it was summer and she didn't have a C in her car, and she stored her money in her bra, so when she went to pay you'd have to watch her pull soaking wet cash out from between her boobs and accept it from her without flinching. It also made me laugh when people would come through in $500 cars with $2000 sound systems. I've regularly seen handwritten signs on cash registers that say no boob money, apparently it's a bigger issue that we ever knew before covid. This girl probably in her 20s came through and had a bunch of Starbucks cups and other fast food trash piled up all the way to the ceiling of her car, in the back seat and in the passenger. It was so disgusting but I just pretended I didn't see it. A cow in the back of a pickup truck with a very haphazardly welded on cage around the co, when I was working at a Starbucks in Montana. On Christmas Eve this guy comes through and I'm taking his money when he asks if I want to see his stump. I wasn't really thinking and said sure. The guy opens his car door and reveals that his left leg was amputated from the knee down. Again, without thinking I asked him if he was alright. He said he was. And while closing his door he mentioned that he needed to be careful when getting out because he has fallen on his face before. NGL. Totally thought he was referring to his dong. Used to work at McDonald's back in the day. I was training a new girl and told her to hand the man at the window his drink. The window opens and I notice the adult man driving is wearing a bib. Weird, but to each their own. As the new girl reaches out her hand to pass the man his drink. He just starts vomiting on himself, violently so, there was splatter. The new girl stood there in shock, so I grabbed her and pulled her back. The window automatically closed and the man eventually drove away. Another weird instance is when I was handing a man a small chocolate shake. I kid you not a small monkey wearing a diaper hopped up on the man's seat and reached out and took the shake from me. The worst part is, none of my co-workers believed me because I was the only one who saw the monkey. That first one is disgusting and creepy. I can guarantee that was a fetish thing and while I'm not here to shame people's preferences, it's not okay to push it on non-consenting people. Freaking gross. My friend works as a cashier at a McDonald's. While waiting for his food, this one client was watching something on his phone and my friend absentmindedly stared at the phone without actually paying attention. The dude turns and makes eye contact with her and gets super embarrassed and my friend realizes he was watching pee the whole time. She awkwardly handed him his food after. This might count. I was 17 in high school, was a shift supervisor and it was a Sunday with 3 people called out so we were slammed. I was cleaning trays, washing dishes, and taking orders in the back at the same time non-stop for 3 hours. My manager comes back and says he needs me to push a van that had broken down at the window. What mf takes such crappy care of their van? I start walking to the front door and look out the drive through window. There is a young lady in full habit attire with 5 other very elderly women. Also in full habit attire. I had never seen a nun in person before or since. They look at me and smile. Sorry about this. Without missing a beat. No problem ladies. We'll take care of it. So me and one other guy push it out of the way and help the tow truck guy when he came. The nuns thanked us. Blessed us. And ride off. I look at my coworker. Did you swear when you heard their car broke down? Yup. Me too. We're going to heck. Yup. That is actually hilarious. No one ever expects nuns. Guy whacking it. I made the GM give him his food. He handed him the bag. 
said make sure you wash your hands before you eat and shut the window. Dang, I'd have had this guy arrested, your GM is too chill. <laughs> Their butter too. I was working the late night shift at a Taco Bell drive through when I was 16. This dude came in with a car full of his buddies, all obviously high. While waiting for his food he starts chatting me up about how much he loves Taco Bell. No like, you don't understand, it's my favorite thing ever. I love you guys. I even have a tattoo he proceeded to unbuckle and shift in his seat so that he could stick his butt out his open window and just drop tro right there on his right cheek in full color was the Taco Bell symbol and catchphrase. Think outside the bun. I was too stunned to really say anything. Never forgot it. The best is that in a drive through the operator can hear every thing. If you're whispering in the back seat thinking you're quiet, I promise they can hear you. They can hear whispering but I have to repeat my order and they still get it wrong. Well not sure if this counts, but I used to work at a pharmacy and a lady pulled up to our drive through to pick up a prescription and while she was paying her son in the back rolled down the window and sprayed me in the face with Windex. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.